Welcome to System. Today I want to focus on the justice system of Norway. Norway is often known as a safe and prosperous country with a strong focus on human rights. Its citizens enjoy a high standard of living and generous social welfare program that keeps income inequality and social issues to a minimum. But like any other country, Norway deals with horrific crimes, although at a much lower rate. What is interesting is not that crime occurs in Norway, but why the punishment for even the worst criminal seems so lenient by international standards. Is this an injustice? Or is the rest of the world thinking of justice in a different way than the Norwegians? Let us first examine the case of one of the country's most notorious criminals. Anders Bering Breivik is a convicted mass murderer who was sentenced to 21 years in prison with an indefinite containment period as long as he remains a threat to society. He murdered nearly 80 people and to this day has shown little to no remorse. Recently, he came up for a parole hearing after spending around 10 years in prison. Due to Norwegian law, he will be eligible for hearings on his release every five years after his 21-year sentence has been completed unless he is paroled earlier. While unlikely, it is theoretically possible he could be released if the courts find that he is rehabilitated. The fact that someone convicted of such crimes has the opportunity to regularly petition for release is hard to believe, but this is a very normal part of the Norwegian justice system. In fact, most murderers are eventually released. Personally, this raises some questions for me. What should be the role of a criminal justice system? If the aim is to rehabilitate, is that actually possible in the case of a mass murderer? Certainly, Norwegians seem to think so. Even after the attacks by Breivik, they overwhelmingly rejected the idea of capital punishment. No changes were made to the maximum peacetime sentence of 21 years and the defendant was afforded all his rights in the trial and in prison. The prison system in the country exists mostly to keep the society safe and rehabilitate the offender. So punishment is merely a consequence of these two goals and is limited to restriction of liberty. The result of this system appears to speak for itself, with recidivism being much lower than countries like the United States. Though it's unclear whether this is caused by the prison system itself or a combination of other factors. Yet is this sentence justice? It's truly hard to say as we are all biased by our own cultural perspectives on punishment. But I am trying to understand the Norwegian perspective. Perhaps human beings are imperfect and even the most evil people should be given the opportunity to redeem themselves. If crime is seen as an aberration from the inherent good nature of people, then everything should be done to return a criminal to that state. Severe punishment does not necessarily do this and may instead harm society as a whole. Human beings possess certain irrevocable rights, and if the justice system treats any category of people as inhuman, it may diminish the value of these rights for the rest. In this sense, the Norwegian system almost views crime like a disease, and prison as the cure. The whole philosophy is geared towards stabilizing society. Indeed, the prisons themselves operate on a normalcy principle, where conditions are made as similar as possible to the outside to facilitate the reentry of inmates. It may be that justice is the transformation of an offender to someone who has repented and ready to join society again. Clearly, the Norwegian justice system is counterintuitive to the traditional notions of crime and punishment found in much of the world. Whether this is truly fair is a matter of individual interpretation and ethical values. But it is still intriguing to study justice systems like this, 